So I am walking along the Kokusaito Street in Naha, Okinawa. I flew in from Tokyo this afternoon to give a public lecture tomorrow on music and the brand. And uh, I made an appearance on a local uh, news and current affairs program uh, today um, on the QAP uh, television. Yes, that was really interesting and I then had uh, some uh, discussions with uh, local uh, owners of businesses and uh, capitalists and so on. So that was a really significant evening. And, uh, so as I walk along the Kokusai Dori station, uh, it's a very famous uh, tourist attraction and typically there would be a lot of uh, tourists here but uh, because of the corona pandemic situation uh, we don't have that much uh, visitors from other parts of the of Japan and also from other countries like China, Korea and so on, Taiwan and so it is a bit difficult time but I still feel that the robustness if you like of the Okinawan people is such that they would somehow muddle through this difficulty. You know, Okinawa has always been at the crossroads of culture and civilization, and there have been people coming here and uh, bringing a lot of influences. At the same time, the Okinawan people have um, brought their own influences. Uh, for example, notably the karate uh, discipline, uh, which made into the Tokyo Olympics this year and also was the inspiration for such wonderful films as uh, Karate Kid. You know, the discipline of karate originated here. So, you see, the spirit of creativity and resilience very much is alive here and you can feel it as you walk along this Kokusai Dori Street. It's uh, just a position of many different influences from all over the world and you feel that as, as long as you are with this mixture of a diversity and spectrum of influences from all over the world, uh, the life here would thrive and continue and the uh, cultures and oh <laughs> this is interesting Charlie's taco something this is um, you know, from 1956 and it's of course a mixture of things American influences Japanese influences and of course the indigenous Okinawan culture so you see what we have here is a really interesting creative uh, blending of different culture much through the ingenious activities of the Okinawan people. Um, it, I feel so uh, privileged to witness uh, the ongoing saga of coping with the pandemic and somehow living their own life. You know, I know the days when this street was packed with uh, tourists and there were people from all over the world and well now it's, you know, so lonely but uh, the essence of the Okinawan people has not changed and that is a great charm of this island and I really admire the continuing legacy of robustness based on diversity and I'm sure I will come back um, again and again to witness and celebrate the diversity. It's so poignant. I feel so happy to be in Okinawa again. <laughs>